So I, I'm from the D camp. Yeah, right. and, okay. uh, but before the D, I have a C. Yeah. I'm a Christian. Yeah. And so that's, that's what I go by. Yeah. And uh, everything else follows after that. Look, I, I'm so glad to be here. As a matter of fact, I, um, I canceled my leadership. I'm a pastor, too, of a church in the Bronx, New Life Outreach International. And we, I canceled my leadership meeting tonight. I said, I can't be there. Well, we have a lot of stuff going on. We just went to our third service. We're getting ready to start our fourth service in May. We have a lot in our plate. But I felt an imperative, um, a drive. Uh, to be here tonight, and I want to thank all the pastors and the priests that are here present. Can all the pastors and priests raise your hands and let, let us know that you're here? Thank you, welcome, welcome. And I see my friend Bishop. This is his first uh, meeting uh, with us, Bishop uh, Fernando Rodriguez. He's the president of LACA, Latin and African American Chaplain Association. Uh, they have hundreds and hundreds of pastors. Uh, the part of the organization, I said, you got to be here tonight yeah, because right. we're trying to rally the troops. Yes. And, uh, and I know some of the things that were spoken, I was told that they were said already about the plan. The strategy is only as good as we follow it. We have to put healthy pressure because, believe me, the other side is putting on healthy pressure right. on the council members. And here, here's what we're dealing with. It's the spirit of intimidation. Mm -hmm. And so they think that they're more on their side than on our side. And you're so right, a council member. Uh, you know, it's funny. We met each other before we were elected. And uh, we had almost no chance of winning. Mm -hmm. But how many know that God is full of surprises? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so when I saw him again at the council, I said, like, you know, I know you. And he goes, yeah, I know you too. And we figure it out. And uh, it was just great it, for such a time like this. And, and so, look, beloved, uh, tonight we got to rally the troops. We have a strategy in place. Uh, but next Sunday, we have to appeal to our congregations. We have to let the other pastors know. And then for the march, we have to show up. We can't show up there with 20 people because that's not a movement. That's like, you know, we just barely show up here and that's, that's just not going to cut it. We have to show up in masses. We've got to talk to our congregations. We have to let them know the urgency, the urgency of this. We're talking about lives. Well, I was thinking about it today. Uh, what would this, what the ramifications of this? We're talking about 7,000, at least 7,000 children that are being saved. You know, before I came here, my wife was running a cell group in, uh, in our condo, and uh, one of the ladies, was, they were asking, where are you going? I said, well, you know, I'm going to save such a one like this because one of the members is pregnant. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and she was thinking about getting an abortion. She's, you know, she's... Burley knew in our church, um, she just came to the Lord, I think about a week ago, mm -hmm. and before that, she was just, you know, just getting assimilated, getting to know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there who are very confused. Okay. When 78% of all abortions are being done among minorities, okay. and 72% of all the centers are located in urban areas, you know okay. this is strategy. Uh, being done here, and I'm not one to, you know, I'm not one to go extreme about things, but the obvious is the obvious, yeah. Yeah. and we, we're losing, like it was said by previous pastors in other meetings, we're losing future pastors and right. prophets and evangelists and, yeah. Yeah. and doctors are going to come out with the answer for cancer, future yeah. elected officials, we, we're talking about thousands of people, and whatever happens in New York, Ladies and gentlemen, the whole world watches what happens yes. here. Yes. And so we must make a stand. Yes. This is our moment. Yes. We cannot go to sleep. You got to feel the heartbeat of God. I'm not gonna put my pastor's hat. You have to put and my council member's hat. I'm not ashamed of who I am. You have to put, you have to feel the heartbeat of God on this. That's right. The heartbeat of God is going like this. Yeah. 
people. 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 Children. 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 Can you hear the heartbeat of God tonight? That is saying we must make a stand. And so we must tell our congregations uh, to be there. I'm going to rally my congregation. I'm asking the pastors and the priests and all the members that are here that represent different churches and organizations, your friends, bring your children. When I see what ha is happening in the Middle East, when I see what's yeah. happening in Northern Africa, and we see a revolution taking yeah. place, why not start a revolution for life? Yeah. Yeah. Let's start a revolution for life. For the dignity of life, because every life matters. So next yeah. Sunday, Pastors, let's, let's preach like it was the last sermon we have ever preached. Yeah. Let's give out the forms, uh, have people sign up, and let's turn it in. We'll turn it in to all the council members so they could know that there are constituents who are very concerned about this and that they will not vote for them again. That's right. That's right. We will not vote for them again. If they vote against our values. Yeah. And so we need to start voting with our values yeah, in mind. Right. And then, uh, of course, we'll, you're going to make those phone calls. You're going to make phone calls to people to make phone calls. Use your Facebook. How many of you have Facebook? Come on, we, we talk about yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you, I, you're on the cell phone all the time. Yeah. We talk about everybody as if this. Let's talk about this. Yeah. I think this is a moral imperative. How many agree with me here tonight? Yeah. And I believe that we can turn the top. Look, let me just share and I'm going to close with this. If they're getting desperate enough to go after those who already say no against this bill, it tells me, right, council member? It right. tells me that they really don't have the votes. Yeah. And there's a couple of them that were, they're just on the fence. Yep. And so one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to ask your council members to visit one of these crisis pregnancy centers because there's a lot of lies going out. Yep. There's a lot of misrepresentation. Mm -hmm. uh, there is false information. Uh, some people just disseminating wrong information but they don't even know they're giving out wrong information. So I'm not even going to question some of the people's motive, but the information is wrong. Mm -hmm. Somebody once said, behind every sin, there's a lie. That's right. That's right. right. And so we got to bring down every argument. Mm -hmm. Every argument against what is taking place here. Yep. So please, uh, contact your council members. Rally the truth. Let's get on to this together because yeah. I know that if we unite together, no one can stand against the church of the living God, the yeah. sleeping giants about to rise. God bless you. Yeah.